Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. Be. I'm Baron. Oh, there's a door here. Okay. Let's open that. Minsk goes, evil stands aside. What's that? Master Jelly. How about these ladles? For right and honor! Just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Fall, and be For right and honor. Okay, looks like we were victorious. Consider it done. What do we have here? Anything trapped? Gotcha. Uh, at least that's locked. That is a trap too. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it's not. I will do my best. Um, books that we don't need. Candle. Oh, inventory full, really? What's that? A wand of the heavens. Arrows plus three. That's not bad. Bullets plus two. More bullets plus two. I guess we don't really need them on Haywood. Bolts plus three. What's that? The soot blackened stones of this ancient fireplace are evidence that it was once well used. The hearth is undamaged and the fire could possibly be lit again if the proper tinderbox could be found. I think we found this one in the last video. Once lit with the tinderbox, the fireplace crackles with dancing flames, which provide a cheery glow to the kitchen. Um, and the entire room is warmed by the heat from the lively blaze. And everybody gets 4000 quest XP. Oh, a few things in life are as fine as the simple pleasure of a warm fire. Who are you? I am Gilthan. The Temple Archivist. I look after things around here, mostly maintaining the library and waking the old priest for services. But I was not expecting visitors. It seems as if the outside world has abandoned us. It is just myself and the old priest here now, wandering amongst the dusty archives. Um, do you know how I can get into the lower levels? To open the gate you must first perform the ritual. But only the brave or foolish venture beneath, for there are dark secrets buried under this temple. I'm a little rusty on how the ritual works, can you refresh my memory? Within the archives we once kept a sacred scroll describing the ritual, but lately things have gone missing. I apologize for this, perhaps you should speak to the old priest. Mm, can you tell me anything about the priest? There is little to tell, a good man, though he has become forgetful in his old age. Perhaps you should speak with him. His chambers are near the northeast corner of the temple. Approach him with caution, he has developed quite the temper. When I wake him up in the morning, the only way to calm him down is to have his favorite slippers ready and waiting. Okay. Thanks for the advice, but I need to be going. I would offer you... I, w I would offer to give you a tour of the library, but it's so nice and warm by this fire. I hope you understand if I prefer to stay right here. Yeah, well, I don't really know uh, how a ghost would actually feel the warmth of the fire. But, okay. If it makes you feel better. Oh, there's another door here. I guess we used... Oh, shit. The key. And there are golems. Guardian golems. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, I guess if I... You know, mess with that sarcophagus, they will probably attack me. So, how about we attack them first? Okay, 
Okay, 13,000 XP. Not bad. Dead already. Okay. What now? There's an inscription on the sarcophagus. Here lies our faithful servant, despite a somewhat suspect this memory. This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. I know. In his later years, he served with duty and honor. If you wanted, you could move the heavily heavy lid and peer inside the sarcoph sarcophagus. I want to. You push the heavy lid aside. But before you can inspect the. You should not have come to this place. Yeah. What? But before you can expect the contents, there's an angry roar. You uh, have business to take care of before you can probably examine the inside of the sarcophagus. Okay, so that is the angry priest. For a thousand years I slept in peace, forgotten by the world beyond these temple walls. Now you dare disrupt my eternal rest? Oh, I see you have brought my slippers. How thoughtful. May I have them? Sure, take the slippers. I apologize for my undeserved reaction. I will take my slippers and let you finish your work here. Look through the sarcophagus as you wish. And everybody gets 20,000 XP. Yay! What's in there? Inside the sarcophagus lie the remains of the old priest's possessions. Woven into the sleeve of his ceremonial robe is the following Holy Ritual, Chapter 12, Verse 14. You make a mental note of it. And get 8000 quest experience points. That's enough for Caldon to actually level. Now he's a level 20 Inquisitor. Awesome. He gets abilities. Let's take a power attack him. I think now it's actually time to move to the altar here. What is that? Etchings on the days portray a man in priestly robes chanting over an altar that holds a book, a bell and a candle. Okay. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. This will be fun. Okay, we have a bell here and a candle here. And... Where's the book? Did I overlook the book? No, I did not overlook the book. It's there. Okay. Fine, so there's a book, we take it. And we see enemies. Yes. Done. Oh wait. Is that a mage? What's that? Another statue. It shall be. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Consider it done. Faster than the ticket. Okay, not funny. That's an insect spell. Um, I stand ready. At work. Okay, but we got twenty thousand XP for all of those uh, statues. That's not a bad thing. Hello. 
Yeah, 20,000. How many did you get? One? Pause it. One. Two. Hello, leg. Three. Okay. That's the end. And that's enough for area to level, actually. Awesome. Hmm? Okay. So we level area. Okay, dandy. So she is a level 15 mage now. She gets abilities, another spell. And a level 5, level 4 and level 5 spell, a 5th and a 4th level spell. So let's learn a few more spells here. Wait, what's, uh, what do we want? Uh, greater medicine, probably. Lower resistance. And she gets another level 7 spell. Very useful. Okay, we need to do some healing now. Yes. And we used a few potions. Wait, you didn't use one. Oh yes, you did use one. Okay. Oh. He actually used two. Fine. I have enough. Fully healed. We have such okay, let's see when, whether any of you those other statues uh, yes. turned. Live by the sword again. Live a good long time. No. Does not look like it. Okay. Hmm. I guess we should buff now. That will probably be for the best. He, he still needs a little healing here. Vita, more. Harmony. I'll help however I can. You cast 
protection from evil. You cast... what's that? Oh, I lost my abilities. Ah, dang it. Fine, then don't cast it. I guess we're good to go. What's that? Fobane plus three. The Archmage Damron created this powerful blade for Captain Fla of Mithranor. When the Elven city fell, the sword was lost beneath the rubble of the once great metropolis. So plus three weapon, plus six damage versus undead shapeshifters and all extra planar beings. Hmm, it's a bastard sword. Sword. Okay. So what I wanted you to take off the Ring of Freedom. What can I do? You could cast. And mass invisibility, and you could cast a haste. We will leave no crevice untouched. And everybody's invisible. Wrong button. Okay, here comes the fun part. You and you, back. I'll do it. On my honor. You I await your to word. that spot. Put in there the bell, the book, and the candle. The artifact now in place, the altar shimmers and glows as you approach. The very stones beneath your feet tremble with caged power. The ritual has begun. What do you do next? I ring the bell. The bell chimes once and the glow of the altar pulsates in response. What do you do next? I ring the bell again. The bell chimes a second time and the temple shudders as the magic gathers. What do you do next? I light a candle. The tiny blue flame of the candle burns with an unnatural intensity. What do you do next? I open the book. You lay the book on the altar, open to the chapter and verse that were woven into the sleeve of the old priest's cloak, and recite the passage. What do you do next? I ring the bell again. You ring the bell a third time. Behind you the mirrored portal begins to glow. The gate of the lower levels is now open. And everybody gets 25,000 XP and there is I am ready. danger afoot. Stand back for justice! It is a bug. Ah, uh, you Rambo, would actually want run. a true seeing here. And you would want to cast a web in here. So we have... I shall not be hurt! Back. It shall be. So there should be a mage here. Why can't I see the fucking mage? That's weird. What happened to your true sight, my friend? Now we see it. Okay. Her, she, it, whatever. Kill the mage. Imoen, you stupid bitch, get back. Okay, the statue is dead. Now we kill the golem. Golem is dead. Okay. Kill the rest. Come on. Thank you. You will fall yet. Okay. To battle and victory. Uh, 
Do we get 20,000 here per statue too? Yes, we do. No, fuck it. Now I take this one. Oh, okay. The web spell wolf. And we leveled again. That was quite a battle, I must say. Hey, what leveled? So what do we get loot wise here? Keep a wary eye about. One never knows the danger can take in a place such as this. Uh, it's a plus two halberd. How come it doesn't? It doesn't appear to be. You know, have that blue thingy around it. Halber plus two is Sirius Blade. Sirius, a white minotaur who traveled the Osran mountains in Turmish, lived for nothing but the thrill of combat and encouraged warriors to challenge him for his magical weapon, a powerful halberd. Despite his aggressive nature, he was an honorable combatant and never slew opponents he could overpower. Sirius met his superior only once in a battle that lasted hours and had the minotaur often fearing defeat. The contest ended when his opponent's sword broke, but Sirius knew he likely would have been bested if it had continued. He presented his weapon to the astonished man who thereafter told of this noble creature to anyone who would listen. Okay, it's a plus two halberd. Not that fancy, actually. A bastard sword plus two, okay. Put it in here. A large shield plus two. Uzuno's Blade plus 4. The daughter of a higher ranking official within the bureaucratic society of Kara Tua, Uzuno rejected her family's station and carved a legend for herself among the Yakuza of the underworld. The blade of this edged ninja Toa crackles with electrical energy. It's a plus 4 weapon apparently, and has a 10% 10 10 chance of doing 2d10 electrical damage with each hit save for half. It's a scimitar wakizashi uh, ninja toe. It can't be used by a druid. That's bad. That would be something Chihiro would like. A plus three dagger. A few arrows of fire and a few arrows plus three. And that's a longbow plus three. Okay. Nothing too fancy actually. We have a bow plus four, plus four, plus four actually. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty much all apparently. Maybe we should rest now, but I will rest outside of the dungeon because some events only take place when you rest outside and not when you rest inside of a dungeon. So. Keep a wary. We shall see. I will do my best. What? What is it you want? All I did was look your way, Jahira. Are you alright? Fine. I'm just fine. Well? Well what? You said you were fine. That's what I said, but I meant... I'm sorry. I shouldn't need to play these games. I'm just so mad and I don't know how to get it out. I... I know why I'm upset, but I just can't seem to shake it. I am angry with that dung weasel Dermon for, for making me feel guilty for killing him. Isn't that ridiculous? The bastard was putting people in danger for nothing, and I feel guilty for ending it. Hmm. I know you did right. I hope that my view is worth something to you. It is, believe me. It means a lot. I'm sorry I am no better company. When this is over, we should... well... I don't want to put a cloud over the future. I will need a bit of space for now. Damn, why is this so hard? Remove the bad seeds and walk into the sunset. That's how it's supposed to go. Nice and clean. Ah, okay. 
But we're making progress here. Oh wait, I should shouldn't I level? Yeah, of course he would leveled. Um, and now he's level twenty mage. Gets another ability. A level seven spell. And a level six and a level nine spell too. That's very nice. And one hit point. Woo hoo hoo. So what do we want here? I guess I want another one of those dragon's breath. I could have used that in the fight. It would probably have helped a lot. Ah, didn't think of it. Um, maybe another one of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a true sight, just in case uh, Kaldon is not available. And that's actually it. Let's rest. Okay. But there's still much to explore that we didn't explore. Okay, guess we can't help that now. So we're done with level 1 of the Watcher's Keep now, it's time to move to the second one. Yes. Fanatics willing to die in the service of hell, I see. Or have you been forced into service, as I once was a millennium ago? Hmm, forced into service? What are you talking about? Hmm, sounds like you have been tricked into doing Helm's Dirty Work. like you have been tricked into doing Oops. Helm's Dirty Work. Looks like we are both unwilling participants in this little drama. Perhaps you could show me the way down to the next level, and I'll see if I can get us both out of this mess. Listen, friend. We can help each other. The fact of the matter is, you cannot get through the gate to the next level unless I open it for you. Oh, you want something for that, right? So I'm not going to let you through the gate unless you help me. And the enchantment that has kept me bound in this infernal dungeon for the last thousand years. Do we have a deal? Hmm, what must be done? Glad you've decided to be reasonable. The Helmites were never reasonable. It is so much easier to deal with one who isn't a fanatic. We'll see about that. Well, now you're not talking anymore, what? This cage I'm stuck in was fashioned over a thousand years ago by four archmages who combined the power of four diverse elements to imprison me here for all eternity. How can I get you out? The wizards who trapped me here each had a lab on this level of the dungeon, where they worked to fashion the enchantments of my cage. Each wizard created a scepter to focus and channel his power. Only the combined power of the four scepters can unlock or unlock my cage. Okay, I will find the scepters. What next? Gather the scepter keys and place them in the four slots around the cage. Once free, I'll be on my way. And you can go through the gate and take on the imprisoned one. If you still want to. <laughs> okay. Where should we put them? That thing has... oh, here? Okay, I get it. Because it has one, two, three, this place is four, just five, too six... Creepy. One, two, I three, really want out of here. four, five, six. Oh, he's changing forms. Well, there are six edges, so to say. Interesting, the demon can change his form. 
Many traps here. Right, you are. What is that here? You try to enter the portal, but are pushed back by some invisible force. It appears that you require something in order to pass. Okay. And that port there would apparently take us back to the level 1. Exit to the lower reaches. Okay, so there are four doors here. Probably each door leads to the um, Very well. laboratory of one of those mages but we will tackle them in the next video so thank you very much for watching and see you soon bye